So, you are here wondering about what uh, vacuum problems cause and uh, some ways to find vacuum problems and how to fix them. So, that's what I will be covering in this video. Now, first things first, before you even think that you have a vacuum problem, you should probably watch your uh, gas mileage and in the morning when you get to go start your car, if it bogs and if it uh, has a low idle, those, those can both be signs of uh, vacuum issues. And uh, these aren't as hard to find as you may think, depending on where they are. Um, some ways to find them, I've figured out. Uh, one is brake cleaner. Uh, you can also use things like uh, some some WD-40, some carb cleaner. Uh, I've even seen people use water. But what you will be looking for and listening for on uh, vacuum lines is that they tend to make a high-pitched whining noise, almost like someone is whistling. Now, I've already found my vacuum leak earlier. So I know exactly where it is, but I will help, uh, I'll try to help in the process of finding it. But it's important to do this when your car is relatively cold. Uh, I just got back driving a while, and um, I don't know how cold it is yet, but I guess that's okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to get in, start it, and uh, see how the idle goes up when you first start it? You're gonna wait for it to settle. You're gonna become, wait for it to come smooth. And, uh, come on, focus. Okay, see, see now it's got a smooth idle? That's exactly what you want. You want it to idle as smooth as possible. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this, but my issue is my PCV valve right there. So there's a, the PCV valve is inside the valve cover, and there is a hose connected to that for uh, crankcase gases return. And so, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this, but you're looking for a high-pitched uh, whistle-like noise. And, uh, so when, it, when you rev it, it'll make a whistle noise. So, uh, I'm gonna go shut the engine off now. I hope you heard that. But. But. That whistling noise is air escaping at the junction of the PCV valve and the hose. It's it, The air is flowing in. So, it's going to cause your engine, I mean, it's going to cause your O2 sensors to read that the fuel mixture is lean, the air mixture is lean, um, but in reality, it's it's the opposite. The engine's running too rich, and so what the O2 sensors will tell the computer to do is uh, to try to correct for a lean mixture by adding more fuel, which in turn makes the problem even worse. So if your check engine light comes on and you get the code red that uh, your O2 sensors indicate lean, these are the uh, pre-catalytic converter O2 sensors, if they read lean, then you most likely will have a vacuum problem, um, but th it's always something different with cars. So, uh, how to find them? Hoses, no, not uh, all the time fit how they're supposed to. I wish I would focus. Focus. Oh well. Hoses don't always fit how they're supposed to all the times. So maybe the wrong size hose. What you're going to do is you're going to get your brake cleaner. And uh, you're going to go around to all the hoses on your engine that are vacuum line hoses. So like your PCV valve, uh, your brake booster, 
your EGR, uh, your fuel pill, fuel rail pressure sensor, and anything else. What you're gonna do is just gonna go around at those points and spray a little bit of brake clean on it while the engine is running. Okay, and you're just gonna just gonna go spray around each one. And what you're listening for is a drop in idle. I know that much. It's a drop in idle if you're using brake clean. If you're using something like carburetor cleaner, I expect it might even raise the idle. But you're just looking at change in idle speed. Now, don't spray too much of it. And like I said, it's important for the engine to be cold because it could catch fire. So it's always a good idea to have a fire extinguisher with you. So we are going to get that and make sure it is charged. Mine, we had to use once, but if something catches on a fire, it, it's not going to be big because we're not going to spray a lot of it. I'm just spraying enough to show you that it changes the idle. Keep it very close to your car. That's something I would recommend. And, uh, yes. So, when you start the engine, let it get down to a nice steady idle. And then spray the brake cleaner in the area of which you think may be having a vacuum issue. Now, this cannot, this can be more than just hoses. There's also some gaskets, uh, like on your throttle body, your intake, even your lower intake down there where uh, it meets your heads. That could even be pulling in air from the outside or if it's on the inside could be pulling in uh, gases from the crankcase which will also cause you to uh, have vacuum issues. Uh, you can most likely most of the time check for this by removing your uh, oil cap or uh, sometimes breather tubes. Put your hand over it and if you feel uh, suction on it when you rev the motor that's one way to tell that you have a vacuum leak down on the uh, intake gaskets. But I'm going to go show you the change in idle now. So we're going to wait for the idle to settle. And it's already done that. The engine is fairly cold, even though it does read uh, in the normal range. Just, uh, we're not going to be spraying too much, so I'm not too worried about it. But do it when it's cold. It's the best when it's cold. But we're going to take that brake parts cleaner, I'm going to spray it right on the PCB valve, and listen for the idle speed to change. See that drop in idle? None of it's coming out, so that's a bit of a problem. But, uh... Look, I, I even killed it. I, I even killed it by spraying the brake parts cleaner out in there. So, uh, yes, that is a very obvious and problematic vacuum uh, line leak. So, pretty much what you can do is just pull off the old hose, go down to the auto parts store, get yourself a new hose, and run it back around. I don't know if I'm going to need a new PCV valve or not, but uh, I will find out. So I'm going to correct this problem, and uh, I'll get right back. I just got done replacing the uh, hose on the PCV valve, and as you can see, it's a uh, little focus. It's not a very short hose. It's uh, maybe an inch at maximum but it starts here and goes to this uh, tube which is the PCV return line goes back into the uh, intake uh, manifold and what I did was I cut myself a new line because the old line was uh, just big and uh, someone had messed around with it earlier the, the previous owner and uh, I even went and put pipe clamps on or hose clamps excuse me on there just to uh, ensure that it wouldn't leak. Didn't tighten them too tight because if you tighten it too tight you could distort the uh, tube and that would cause yet another vacuum leak and we don't want that. So I'm going to start it up and uh, we're going to be listening for that whistling noise and I might shoot a little brake cleaner on it. Surprised it started that soon after killing it with the brake cleaner. 
Yeah, it's idling a bit high because of that brake cleaner. And it's probably got to get used to the uh, full vacuum. And Oh, look, I have to go get the gas. But, uh, okay, so now it's evened out. I'm going to shoot a little more brake cleaner on it. Just to, you know, ensure... Oh, first, I'm gonna, we're going to listen for the whistle. Don't know if that fixed it or not. We're going to find out. Well, it didn't, it didn't do anything, it didn't, uh, it didn't die, and the idle stayed the same, so, I will update this in a week, after driving around, daily driving, and see where it got me. Oh, and for any of you wondering... Uh, my check engine light did come on with the uh, code reading lean. Uh, that was P1151 and P1131. Uh, those are just for each bank. Um, but this is, uh, if you're wondering, this is a 1995 uh, Ford Mustang. It's the 3.8 liter V6 and uh, auto trans. But you guys already know because you've seen the interior. But That is how I fixed my car. Uh, there are some other methods by approaching this, but I've tested this one and it has worked. And uh, even though the engine was hot, it didn't catch fire. Uh, I mean, it's relatively safe. Just use common sense when you're spraying the brake cleaner. Just don't spray it everywhere at one time. Spray it here. Wait a few seconds, let it evaporate. Spray it somewhere else so you know where you have sprayed and at what time. So if you haven't, if you ha don't find the leak, that is uh, okay. You can probably take it down to your nearest uh, mechanic and they might be able to pinpoint, put, pinpoint it for you. But other than that, uh, you guys take it easy and have a good day. Your check engine light is on after completing this whole uh, deal and you fix the vacuum leak uh, I would recommend going down to your nearest auto parts store and borrow their uh, code reader the OBD2 or OBD2 is what they have in uh, the borrowing thing I forgot what it's called the rent a tool they have the OBD2 scanner so you can go reset your code so your engine starts back off with a uh, zero zero fuel trim and that should uh, cause your engine to run better and get, get better gas mileage. So after doing that, uh, you should be good. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just uh, leave it down in the comment section below and drop a like if this helped you out.